Here we go. So I have f of x equals 2 minus sine of 2 pi x divided by 3. So to graph a problem like this, there's a couple things that we want to make sure that we see on this graph to be able to change it. The first thing we want to look at is always to see what the amplitude is. And remember, the amplitude is going to be your a in your standard form of your uh, trigonometric function. So your a is going to be what's going to be multiplied by your function, which here I have a negative 1. So therefore, I can represent the absolute value of negative 1 is just going to equal 1. The next thing I need to do is determine the period. So the period, remember, is 2 pi divided by b, where b is your coefficient of x. So I look at the coefficient of x, and the coefficient of x is 2 times pi, and that's being divided by 3. So I'm going to write 2 pi divided by 2 pi divided by 3. So to get rid of this fraction as my denominator, I multiply by the reciprocal. And therefore, that's going to multiply to 1. That multiplies the 1. And I'm just left with a period of 3. Now, the next thing I'm going to want to do is make sure I find the critical distance between each one of those points. Remember, we have four critical points. So the distance between my four critical points is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my period and then divide it by 4. So that's going to be the distance between my critical points. All right, so the next thing we need to do is determine what's going to be the start and the end point of my initial period that I'm going to graph. So to find the start, all we're going to do is take whatever's inside our function and set that equal to 0. Then to find the end, what we're going to do is set whatever's inside my function and set that equal to 2 pi. Because remember, on the parent graph, our initial period that we look at starts at 0 and ends at 2 pi. So if we're going to make any kind of transformations on there, uh, we want to see what the transformations are inside the function and set them equal to our 0 and 2 pi and see how that's going to change. So by solving for x, I get x is going to equal 0, meaning my graph is not going to shift. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's not going to shift here, but it's still going to cross at 0 comma 0. Then by solving for here, I end up getting x equals 3 pi. Uh, no, x equals 3. My apologies. So when I just did my math, so I get x equals 0 and x equals 3. So now to graph, oh, and the last thing I'm going to notice is I have a positive 2. That means this could be also rewritten. You could also rewrite this function as f of x equals negative sine of 2 pi 3x plus 2. And the reason why it's important for you guys to understand that, that's a positive 2. And remember, when you have a transformation outside the function, that's going to shift your graph up or down. Since this is a positive transformation, it's a positive 2, I'm going to shift my graph up 2. Now, before I do the shift up or down, I always like to kind of graph it as is with its x-intercepts and everything like that. And then I take the final equation, and I either shift it up or shift it down, depending on what I need. Uh, we also look here, and we notice we have a reflection. So and that's a reflection about the x-axis. So I'm just going to write that down so I don't forget it as I'm graphing. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph an x-axis here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create x equals 0, which is my y-intercept. So that's going to be my starting position. Then I'm going to have four critical points for my initial period. So I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now between each critical point we saw was 3 fourths. That means my first point from 0 to 3 fourths. Then the next point is going to be 3 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is 6 fourths, which is 3 halves. Then add another um, 3 fourths, which is going to be 9 fourths. And then our last force would be 12 force, which is equal to 3. I can also do that in the negative direction, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to have the exact same values, just as negative. OK, so now let's go and label our y-axis. Now remember, we initially always started with an amplitude of 1. So our graph would usually go up to 1. I know I'm going to be shifting my graph all the way up to 2. So I'm going to kind of space this out a little bit different. So I'm going to go up to 1. 2, 3, 4. 
All right, so therefore we can label that negative 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so let's start with the graph without the vertical shift. So we notice that we have my four critical points. I'm looking at sine, and remember it's a reflection. The parent graph of the sine graph initially always went up to its maximum. Since I'm now reflecting that to the reflecting that over the x-axis, I'm now going to go down to its minimum point first. So the sine graph is going to go down to its minimum point, come back up to the x-intercept at the next critical point, then head up to the maximum point, and then go back down to the x-intercept. I can, I can um, continue this period in going in the negative direction by now going up to the max, x-intercept, uh, the minimum point, and going to the y-intercept. Now notice I'm only going up to 1. And the reason I'm only going up to 1 and down to negative 1 because that's the amplitude of my function. So this is what the graph is going to look like without a horizontal, or I'm sorry, a vertical transformation. However, we need to add that add 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole graph and add 2 to it. So therefore, each one of these points, I can now go up two points. So now, what you see this graph in 1, 2, uh, did I? Oh, that's at 1. That should be there. This is kind of a little bit high up there. So then I go up two points for here, two points there, two points there. So therefore, you can now see this graph is going to look something like this. So this is going to be my final graph with the transformation as it's going to continue on and on and on forever. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph with a vertical transformation. Thanks.